Now to a story you'll only see on News 5. Tonight, a military mom who lost her son in Afghanistan is talking to me about the worries she has now that the U.S. has left the country. Sergeant First Class Christopher Dome was an Army Ranger who was killed on his 14th deployment in 2011. His mom talked to me about the fears she has for the Afghan people now under Taliban rule and the forgiveness she has for her son's killer. Scotty Dome knows the pain of losing a child. He's the most deployed soldier in American history to be killed in action. Her son, Army Ranger Sergeant First Class Christopher Dome, was killed in Afghanistan in 2011. He was the Army's first evaluator JTAC. She told me about the moment she found out her son was gone. It was about midnight. And I hear this banging in my door. Well, I'm single. I, I'm not going to open my door. And they wouldn't quit banging. And I mean, it was and it was like it was insistent. It did not stop for 20 minutes. So then I thought, I'm going to call the cops. But my cell phone was in this room, and I'd have to walk past the front door, and they could see me. So then I peeked out and I noticed uniforms, then I got mad. I thought, why are the cops here? I haven't done anything. Then I went down the stairs, opened the door, knew, and I said, is my son dead? And they came in and as we, they said, may we come in, ma'am? So as we were walking up the steps, I said, is my son dead? Of course I knew my son was dead. And then, you know, they were really, um, honestly, okay. <sighs> I felt sorry for them having to deliver the news because they still had two more um, people to inform that night. Her deep Christian faith carrying her through the dark days and nights since then. I also believe what the Bible says that two days belong to God, the day we're born and the day we die. And God chose his death date. Now, we've had some conversations about that. You and God? Yeah, oh yeah. About, you know, it was way too short, but because of my faith, I accept that. She accepts that and spends little time asking why. Even if God told me why, I still am going to grieve and mourn, feel the pain and miss him for the rest of my life. Why is like this vortex that it just keeps you deeper and deeper into the darkness? And I thought, no, nope, not going to allow that. Now, as she watches the images on her television screen, she's worried the families in Afghanistan, now back under Taliban rule, will know her same pain. I'm bonded in grief to all the people in Iraq, in Afghanistan, when ISIS did their thing. My son's death was a violent death, but many of those children and wives will see that violent death. So. I'm grieving for them. Sergeant Domey was going after one of the most prolific IED makers when he was killed by an IED. He was basically blowing up about 200 people a month. I really wanted to beg the generals to let me fly to Afghanistan and share my faith with him. Of course, I knew they'd never let me do that. Then a year later, I found out he had been killed, but I felt ill because he has a family. He, he didn't know another way in life. But his way took your son. Right, he did. And even if they're enemy, they have families that grieve for them. She's just so remarkable. Sergeant Domey left behind a wife and two young children. Part of his story and his mother's interviews are shared in a documentary called Here Am I, Send Me. We have a link to it on our website, koaa.com.